One last thing about the polygon models is that when you get a polygon model that, say, has, oh, 300 polygons, <clears throat> and you get far away from it, not even that far away, you know, oops, it's, that's, it's kind of a blob of pixels. Um, let's go out where they're farther away, though, because most of them are really quite a distance. OK. So look up there. I mean, you see that guy walking? He, he's your basic blob. I mean, see, it's, it's not exactly a blob. We couldn't just draw a bunch of green pixels. But you sure aren't seeing much detail. And I'm running this at 640 by 480. OK, now he's really a blob of pixels, right? I mean, there are maybe 30 or 40 pixels in, in him, and there are 300 polygons. So it seems crazy that we go through all the work of rasterizing every one of those polygons, most of which have zero pixels, and some of which have maybe one pixel. <coughs> so again, there were some, uh, a lot of approaches proposed for trying to blobize these things. And what John finally came up with was what we call a subdivision rasterizer, in which we draw all the vertices in the model, and then we look at each triangle and we say, is there a side in this triangle that's longer than one? If it is, let's split it in half by shifting, just by shifting all the, the texture coordinates, everything. We're not going to worry about how exact we are. We'll split it in half. We'll draw that point. We now have two more triangles. We can apply this to recursively. <clears throat> and you know, it's really inaccurate. It follows no known fill rules relative to anything else. Um, it, the texturing, I mean, you know, you're dividing it by two. That, sometimes that's right. Um, if you get big triangles, it's really slow. I mean, you get up really close with one of those, and everything slows to a crawl. But it's perfect for this. I mean, see if you can detect where this switches over as I walk up to this guy, OK? There he is. I'm walking up. OK, at some point there, he changed. You don't even really have any idea where that point is. Because obviously, we picked a ch change over to be a point where it didn't matter. But the truth is, it's only about 30 feet away. Um, so I, I think that this is just a, a great example of what I was talking about at the beginning, not getting locked into a familiar approach, saying, I know how to rasterize triangles. Therefore, what I should do is I should make the triangle rasterization as fast as I can. You might say, well, how else can I get the same effect?